Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of It's Jenkins. This episode of It's Jenkins is brought to you by Quicksell. Shop well. Shop Quicksell. You got that? Well, welcome back. So it's been a few, well, a week or so since I last recorded. Um, and it's, ah, it's been a tough week. But anyway, that being said, let's just put that aside for now and have a look at what we're looking at here uh, in terms of fighting for the next little bit. So we did jump. Uh, we are at Ford right now in the, in the Lyran Commonwealth. So let's have a look at navigation and show you what I did. We're kind of on our way to the, the, the center of the inner sphere. So we jumped kind of right into here. Now it's a three skull planet. It wasn't really where I wanted to go, but it got me here before the end of the month. Um, that way we could, you know, pull off some missions. We got three lances now that we can run with while we're on this planet, which we're going to do all on the same day, I guess, technically. But there'll be three different uh, episodes. And then we're going to jump out of here again, and we're going to head more towards the center of the inner sphere. Hopefully finding some better missions to take. But um, let's go to uh, the mech bay first. Show you what our lances are looking like. So this is what we got right now. So the main lance stays the same. The secondary lance is changing a bit because we've got the Bushwhacker and the Perseus back, and they're ready to go. And I move the Stormcrow and the Centurion down here in the third lance. The Rabid Coyote, I'm just going to leave off to the side for now if it didn't get so sluggish we're going to put them off to the side for now i'm not really sure if we're going to be bringing this back into the fight it might be coming back into the fight i don't know yet i'm not really i mean melee could work but currently for me it's not really working um only because it takes forever to get into where the enemy is we get one or one or two attacks in it's either good or bad it, you know it's kind of like up in the air so um we're going to leave that rabbit coyote off to the side for now. Now, in the vehicle mech bay, I was able to bring a few things forward. So we're going to use the Efreet and the Ferret. I should probably switch these two around. Like so. Okay, so we got the Efreet and the Ferret for the Heavy Lance, uh, which we know all about. And then we've got the double AC-20 Hetzer and a secondary Hetzer, which is a, another... You can't really see it here, but it's another... Um, quick sell version it's the heavy PP streak ppc uh or heavy ppc quick sell version with a streak uh, srm4 i think that's yeah that's all it's got probe king so we're going to run this one as well um now this i believe this has got a fair bit of recoil yeah the recoil of four so it's going to run basically the same as this hetzer it's going to dart in fire dart out and maybe we could alter the two back and forth the armor is roughly the same I think it's actually identical 120 180 yeah pretty much identical just slightly different loadout so we'll alter between the two of them it's been working well this one's a four six movement though this guy's six nine so we'll see how it goes which is weird because this has got a double ac20 in it and this one doesn't i guess i don't know how heavy that heavy ppc is but anyway we got that running, and then I moved the Cloud Buster down to the third lance, along with the Pegasus and the Chariot. The Chariot's got a uh, tandem rocket, 10 light AC5, and a mortar 8. Good fire support, half decent armor. Pegasus we run with before. Medium laser pair of SRM6s is a good back striker, which we're going to use it as. And the Cloud Buster, once again, just fire support. Good armor. So it should, these three should help out in the third lance. Because right now, um, we just have pilots for the Storm Crow and the Centurion. Uh, I'll go to the uh, the um, barracks in a second to show you the lances. But the two mechs, or yeah, the two mechs that you, I don't think you guys have seen yet. One is the the pirate bushwhacker. Uh, I may have shown you this guy. I can't remember, but the pirate bushwhacker is done. Running with the light AC20. We've got a ton of um, precision, ton of incendiary, ton of regular ammo, which is plenty. Heavy rocket launcher 10, and then of course the improved uh, rocket, or these sorry, the incendiary rocket launchers. Now these are rocket packs, so they got three salvos each. So we've got three salvos and all these incendiaries. It's good for over overheating people. Got a rocket pack uh, as a backup and enhanced to them to uh, increase with some accuracy. Plus a pair of medium X pulses as backup, light probe, uh, jammers, and fire control system Arm Artemis give us plus one to hit with these uh, rockets. So hopefully it's going to work out. So 
Once again, we're still looking for more cockpit stuff. It's one of the things that I seem to be missing a fair bit of. And the movement isn't bad. It's like 5.8 or 5.7 or 4.7. So it's not too, too bad. Um, it's a little bit, uh, got a little bit more maneuver, little maneuverability than most uh, mechs around its weight class. And then the Perseus was a tough choice. There was a lot of things I could have done with this thing. Um, but I think this one works the best. So let's have a quick look at this guy. It's an interesting build. Regardless, it's interesting. So we got the uh, the Goss Rifle HA-40 clan on the one arm with three tons of Hyper Goss ammo. AMS Mark II in the center torso with a ton and a half of ammo. And the Silver Bullet Goss Pirate, which we picked up a little while back. Uh, in this arm, now this has got multiple firing modes, which we have to be careful of. Because um, it does have a missed chance, chance to misfire when firing in different uh, fire modes. So we'll have to be careful how we use this. And then we got two tons of Goss ammo because this is all I have. I don't have single tons. Or else I would just put one ton in. Um, but yeah, we got two tons of uh, silver bullet Goss ammo and a pair of ED, uh, ER medium lasers to back it up. Uh, we had to put the patchwork materials to make it all work. The range finder we just picked up, one in here, give us the ability to, to see and a little bit better gunnery. Uh, fire control system predator because this guy technically is a longer ranged uh, fire mech. So that's what we're going to do. And then the AR-12 shield sheath beacon to keep itself hidden. As best it can. Care of a pair of uh, bolt-on incendiary rockets and a heat bank. I didn't really have much to stick in there, so I just dropped those in. We don't have anything left to be able to put any kind of armor on this, so that it is what it is, right? Endo steel is already in, like, uh, integrated into this, so I don't have a choice of swapping this out. Same as the Omni Mech Gyro, there's not much I can do about that. So it is what it is. Uh, XL engines, we've got to be careful with it. Now, uh, that's those two mechs. As far as the pilots go, if we go to the barracks, I did pick up a couple pilots. They're not really the best, but we do have new pilots. And I renamed everybody so that we could get everybody in the order in their lances. So we got our main lance here. Scroll down, secondary lance, so we know who everybody is. Uh, B1 to 6, and of course our last lance. Picked up a couple pilots here, so we've got Moxie. Um, which isn't too bad. Lifeboat we've had for a while, which we haven't been able to do much with. Uh, Mega Flop, Nasty, and then Prime Time. So we've got three vehicle pilots. So we're going to run with two mechs and three vehicles for this lance, uh, for this first fight. We're not going to do that today. I'm going to run with the, with the secondary lance, the heavy lance today, because I want to try out those silver bullet gosses. I want to see how the bushwhacker does. So we're going to run that lance today first. But yeah, so the last lance is two mechs and three vehicles. And I've got a good mission for that, for this one. So for today, let's go to the command center. We are going to go with... Uh, so this is going to be for the, the third lance, defend base mission. Two skulls. I think this is perfect to, to see how the lance does. And then we're going to come down here to this one right here. An assassinate mission against a uh, Liren, Liren ter terrorist. So we're going to take our heavy lance in and go do that one today. So let's go negotiate this up, take the full salvage, because we're doing okay for sea bills. We can make our monthly financial report, even with repairs, I think, unless we get completely obliterated, which I don't think will happen. But if that if it happens, we can still repair. So let's load in um, B lance, right? And we're going to make sure we get this set up properly. So the Storm Crow is going to go, and we're bringing in the Perseus. And the Centurion's going to go, and we're bringing in the Bushwhacker. Uh, it'll be nice once we get another heavier lance. We can put something else in here, and the Bushwhacker will drop down into that third lance. So that's right. That's right. We're going to save this as B lance. Uh, if I click here. Confirm. Cool. And uh, let's go. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know. I think we'll be okay. I really, th I really do. Command interface initiated. All right, as long as we don't come up against three uh, Liren scout lances, we should be fine. So there's the main guy there. Um, to me, that kind of looks like an awesome. Could be wrong. Can't zoom in, unfortunately, but that's where he is. We're back here. Maybe. Um, okay, so they've got two lances plus the main guy, and where are we looking at here for their drops? So definitely there. 
Where are the ambushers coming from? Oh, wait, this is, uh... Oh, I see. Right, they're back here. Well, mm, I'm not going to do what I normally... Uh, this is going to be a tough fight. Okay, they're probably going to... they got to come down... Ah, it's unfortunate that it ended up this way because I can't fight my way through them to get to him. There's no way to do that on this map. I have to actually start... I mean, I guess I could start in between them. I'm not going to make it fair, though, because screw them. Uh, we're going to come... We're going to drop over here. Mm. How are we going to quickly get to him? Maybe we could start here. Somewhere down here? Sure. Otherwise, it's going to take us forget forever to get across the map to get to him. We're killing everybody. We're not leaving, so... This looks like an ideal place for an ambush. Really? Strange. No one's ever ambushed us in the past. Well, that's a vehicle moving. All right. What are we looking at down here? Strider. Sturmblitz. Maxim. And this guy. Ooh. Cheap shot. I'm under heavy fire. Really? Orders. Strange. It's a banshee. Oh, we don't don't we have banshee parts? It's been so long since I've played that I can't remember. Uh, let's get over to here. We don't... I mean, rockets can probably hit him from here. Let's go down here. Full speed. No get out of everybody else's way so that they can fire over us here. Gotta push in, though. I think we send the Efreet on a scouting mission. I don't know if that's Sturm... Yeah, he's got a ballistic. Okay, this guy's back here as well. Plainsman. Ah, man, it's just lousy, um... Lousy, uh... Defenders. So we're not going to get a shot off, I don't think, on those guys, but... Let's get up here. Roger, Skipper. Kicking it. We don't need you against the Banshee. Let's take out their arty, though. Now, our other vehicle is the... Yeah, the question is, do I want to get him up in a sniper position and shoot down on them? Probably. Try aiming next time. See what you get. Ah, a bunch of hits from the AMS. Yeah, I definitely wanted to work that AMS Mark II into the Perseus. It's about time that we need to get that in here. Confirmed. Just because, you know, eventually we're going to be getting into a large volume of enemies. And I want to make sure that, um... Let's get over here. Copy that, Commander. I want to make sure that we've got, uh, some coverage here. I'll try the barrage on this guy. Wow, man, just such scattered, uh, chances to hit here. So he's got a heavy, light, goss... It's actually a pretty good loadout for this guy. He's, th he's staying heat neutral, too, which is awesome. So let's, uh... Hammer him. Copy that. A primary target is taking damage. Returning fire. Ooh. Could you imagine getting a Banshee now as the uh, fourth mech for this uh Ready to this group? Yeah, we're gonna send you up this way. We're gonna go for sniper. Can you get up there though? That's the question. I don't think you can. Well maybe. You should be able to get up this way. I think it just takes a little while to get up no speed target. here. We could definitely have the long range firepower to pull this guy down. Orders. Um. So you can get right up there. Let's do that. That's actually pretty good for the Perseus. The speed's actually not bad. I mean, it's a built in 300 XL, so it's 4 6 movement, which isn't bad. We're looking at chances to hit here. 
All right, not nah. I mean, sure. So we got we got different fire modes on this. We got standard, cluster, and scrap. So the thing is, is with cluster, I think the misfire is twenty, and it's like with scrap, it's like thirty-five. But I think scrap is like buckshot for close range. Uh, let's go standard. We got lots of ammo. Now I'm interested to see how many rounds get shot off here for this thing. Because it's like six times four, right? So I think it's four shots per. In which case we've got, what, nine turns of firing? Which isn't bad. Firing on target. So the goss, the main goss hit. And then a pepper. Okay. A little bit of a peppering. Commander. ER peep, heavy rotary snub. No shooting, just running. Should be up the hill a bit, so we should be able to shoot over our guys here. Right? In theory. How many can we get wound up here? Four? Let's go with four. That'll minimize the recoil on this thing. Uh, can we go with the... E we'll go with the... Well, no, I want to keep my heat low. Uh, you are a better chance to hit, though. Let's just go this route. We got one of them on. All right, not bad. Not bad. Got a Phoenix Hawk. So I did bring two of those other mechs forward. I gotta strip them. Just haven't done it yet. Mortar Carrier Mark II. That's a lot of mortars. Okay. That's an interesting angle, but sure. I'm receiving you. I think you need to kill that mortar carrier first. So let's get up here. Got this thing. Plainsman LRM, mortar carrier. Oh, what's the chance they can hit me? Probably pretty low, so let's just get up over here. Might as well get a shot in the way there. Bing! Oh, Centurion. OB. Missile and energy. 11. Is that the Omni Centurion? Could be. Plainsman LRM. 85 armor, huh? Yeah, I just go with the SRMs. Mm, yeah, we'll just fire the SRMs. Nice. Got past the armor. Looks like I only the new target. Oh, you got one. Don't worry. We'll give it to you. That's the Strider Zero A. What are your orders, Skipper? Or is that the Omni Strider? Let's get up here. And four. Let's harass these guys. So at four skulls, I was hoping for a little more, but it's not bad. I mean, it could be worse. It could be a lot worse than this. I got you. Well, thanks for showing up. Dang, that's a myth. It is. Is that Banshee? Okay, now he's got an artillery. Makes me wonder if that's like a a twenty or something like that, like an ultra twenty or something on there. Okay, you need to get close. Let's get you in the trees. Acknowledged. I don't think the twenty can hit from this range, but you never know. It's a light twenty. It's four eighty. Might be four eighty. Yeah, it is. Leave the precision on. Um, actually, what is it like heat-wise if we do this? So nothing. <laughs> uh, here you go. 
Ooh, the, oh, the light 20 hit. Little heat for you. Here you are. Well, that spiked his heat a little bit. That bushwhacker is going to work really well with the Efreet, that's for sure. That looked like two really big guns in the front of that thing. Alright, we need to get you more to this side, yeah. Because there are other guys i got to shoot too, and I don't want to shoot you in the back. So let's get over here. I know we're sit standing awfully close together, but this guy is pretty much uh, toast here. Let's go this route and fire. A little bit more incendiary. Marginal. Uh, Mark II unjammed. Okay, good. Hopefully we can get our other guys into the radius there before the uh, these guys shoot at them. Or not. It's a lot of damage. I'm showing minor damage. A lot of splash damage. Skipper. All right, Boomy. Let's go here. I got you. Hopefully, opening up a, a passageway between these two for the other guy to fire the Orion. That's pretty nice. Um. We're not going to need these against the vehicles, I don't think, so let's use them now. It's a pretty good chance to hit. Fire everything. Firing. Fire everything! That should be a knockdown. My SRM. So somebody pointed out, too, and, and I'm glad you did, and I can't remember who it was, but... I think there's a... So if I get somebody to maxed, I think there's a pilot check. The pilot's got to make a, a check Ready versus knockdown, and they might actually pass that check. Um, let's not move, because otherwise we can't shoot. So there's a pilot check. So the guy, there's a there's a chance that um, we go for a headshot. There's a chance that um, they might not fall over. And that makes sense to me. Like, you get maxed out, technically you have no stability left. You should fall over, but the pilot's got that light, that, that small chance of being able to keep it up. You know what I mean? That kind of makes sense to me, and I, I, I'll agree with that. Two hits, no head hits, though. Okay. Now he takes the blast, too. Oh, no, he doesn't. Never mind. Oh, I almost took the blast. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> I gotta keep my eyes open. Yeah, thanks for showing up, buddy. Wait, do you have fire maneuver? You're Phoenix Hawk, right? You don't. Or do you? No, he does. Nice, ace pilot. Beautiful. I like it. I like throwing that into quirks for mechs and stuff. Because then it's only certain mechs that can do that. And I, I like that. Not, not attaching that to the pilot. To me, it just makes more sense. Standing by. But then again, you know, I'm generally full of nonsense anyway, so... Uh, let's get into... Can I get a... Oh, that's a green line. What do you know? Let's not give him a black shot. Let's get into here. Aye. But I will take a back shot against this guy who's trying to run away. Christ, this Efreet might kill all these guys back here without me having to come back and get them. Yeah, hammer this guy. Taking the shot. Ooh, good damage, but I think we split the word. Yeah, yeah, of course. Shooting from behind, hit both sides. Oh, you hit me even with all that evasion. Well, it was a flanking shot, so I mean. Commander. All right. Um, yeah, I'm gonna sprint you forward because I want to get closer to where we gotta go to. Get up over here. This Banshee's gonna die this turn, so let's see if we can plink him out with headshots. I doubt it, but gonna go for it. Uh, let's leave the rockets off. Ah, uh, no, they're incendiaries. Let's leave them on. Keep this guy overheated so he can't really do much against us when he stands up, or if he stands up. Engine crits. Explosion. Ammo explosion contained. Some heavy I don't see any head stuff. I'm out of SRMs. Maybe we can get him to bail. I'm going to pepper him with rockets, I think, and that'll probably be it. 
I'm gonna hit him from with the uh, bushwhacker. That is. Ooh, Maxim's coming around the corner. Maybe we can get some shots off on him. It's a lot of swarm. Damage is light. No hits. Light damage, Commander. What's up, boss? Can you uh, keep that guy a little toasty for me? Location confirmed. We, oh man. Like, the firepower on this thing is brutal. Like, it really is. We did get a head hit somewhere along the way here. Do I want to... What's the chance... I don't know. It was pretty low. Let's just go with rockets. We'll keep them overheated. I gotta get the parts, right? So, I don't know how else to do that. Yeah. Receiving you. Same thing, we'll just try for his headshot. Nope. Pen somewhere, probably a CT. Yeah. Yep, not much we can do there. This guy's running. I don't blame you. Uh, yep. I don't blame you in the slightest. Cannot move that. Streaks. Mm. I think my mechs can take care of that guy, no problem. Who else can I target here? Let's get to here. Affirmative, Commander. That's the. What is this guy? Sturmblitz. He's going the opposite direction, though. Sure. Oh, he's got an AC 20. Okay. Let's see what you got. Nothing. That didn't hit. Nope. Skipper. It's not a mech and you're not staring at his back, so no, it didn't hit. Okay, let's get over here. I was really hoping this this guy would have been dead by now, but that's fine. Can't have everything. All or nothing, let's do it. I'm on him. It's go time. Ha, you like that? Panicking. Look at this guy. Burn, you smug bastard. Sucks to be you. The target is retreating, Commander. Oh, he's not going anywhere. Before it escapes. He's not going anywhere. Um. As much as I want to just fire all these rockets off at that guy, I think I want to have more fun with this guy here. Oof. I should have fired all my rockets up at that guy. Ah, uh, well. Let's save those for a better chance to hit. I will take the ace. Well, let's go with incendiary. Negative damage. Repeat, negative damage. Yeah, that was my fault. I should have checked my chance to hit before I moved. Commander? Now, where did you take the most damage? This side. So let's get you... Can I get... There we go. That's not bad. Copy that, Commander. That's not bad. 40%. Engaging target. There we go. Enemy eliminated. You're coming back to help out, are you? So PPC and probably waiting for orders. SRMs or something? Wait, you can shoot from there, right? That's a side shot. Let's try for it. Ah, uh, this rotary didn't get much chance in this battle, but... Ah, uh, I think that was a CT hit. 
We're not going anywhere. We even get out of here. I'll call you when they're done. We're mopping up. We're gonna mop up. Yeah, you run. Well, got the tag on. It's kind of one of the more important things. You think you can get back and help out the... Well, the Ifrit doesn't really need much help. Um, hmm. I should just park this guy. He doesn't really need to do much right now. Ah, let's just pull back here. Alright, let's move. I'm just gonna park right here. We'll dart back in next turn. Alright. Confirmed. Boomer. That's a big boomer. Um, we gotta go this way. Roger, Skipper. Taking it. It's gonna take a few turns to get around there, but whatever. Good to go. There we go. Uh, I'm gonna try this on Cluster, just to see. Ooh, not bad damage. Didn't say it misfired, so it must have been okay. This guy's hanging in the battle. Oh, it's raining. Look at that. You know, I've said it before, and I'll say it again. This this game, the graphics, for what it is, pretty good. Got to say, even when you zoom in, they're pretty good. So. Huh, that Centurion is going to get melted down this turn. We're going to melt you down for scrap. Thanks for sticking it out in the fight. Appreciate it. Yeah, I think we just take this Lance Five Skulls now. It's tricky because we got two other Lances that are ranked lower. Like, I don't know what to rank that third Lance just yet. It's only got two mechs and three vehicles, so... We need more pilots, but once we get four mechs, Minimal it's going to be ranked hit. probably higher than our uh, Quick Cell Lance, unfortunately. We do need to find some more Quick Cell gear. I was hoping to find it in the Illyrian Commonwealth, so... I don't know. I don't know. I wish I could split up my units. Like, once we get the Junk I'm Leopard, here. it would be kind of cool if we could, like, have, you know, one unit jump one direction, the other unit jump another direction. And have two three. units on different planets. That would be kind of cool, but... Because then I would send the Quick Cell group back. That's one of the reasons why sometimes we would run more than one series. Yeah, screw you. Taking the shot. <laughs> Reporting multiple weapons with no ammo. <laughs> That's cool. This guy's not doing anything. Jesus Christ. <laughs> he's just standing by. He's just FML. That's what he's saying. Fuck my. Why? Why am I here? Really? Like honestly, why am I here? Um, if I go up that way, I don't think I can get back down. This way, I'm in everybody's way, though. Let's just go here. Out of the water. Wow. Um, sure. Oh, oh god. <laughs> I think AC-20s, any, any kind of 20 weapon, has become my new weapon of, like, luck. I'm not that great with everything else. But for some reason, the AC-20s in this series have been, like, hitting super low percentage chances to hit. Oh, well, I guess we get up to here. Double time. Let's go. Is that double time? I don't know. I can't tell. Yes, Commander. Affirmative. Just gonna quickly move that guy. What are your orders, Alright, Ironsides. 
the centurion decided to uh, engage with something that it has no business engaging with. Let's just get up here. I was hoping we could shoot at the centurion, but forget it. All right, so that's the strider. And that is the... Oh, there's an assassin down here. He was hidden. I will take the better chance to hit. Affirmative. I don't even know why I bother. You gotta be shitting me. That should have hit. It should have. But you are technically a backstriker, so I mean, that's the reason why it didn't hit. Double time. Let's go. You weren't staring somebody directly in the back. I wonder if my mechs can actually get around and do any damage over here. I should, you know, if I can get more, like, VTOLs like that, I think I'll make a lance of just VTOLs and see what I can, how many, how high skull rating I can get up to. Because that, that guy there is really only a one-shot, and then it's like limited ammo on the SRMs, right? So, it's got limited tactical capability, I guess you could say. But the capability that it does have is brutal. Like, that's 99% chance to hit. Now, let's go over here. All right. And the armor is actually pretty good, so, I mean... That's the PPC side, and this is the... Oh, MML. Oh, it's a heavy PPC. Interesting. Let's go this side, and hopefully we can maintain the uh, heavy PPC. Good angle. Fire it. Okay, pilot injured. Didn't lose the side. Wow. Didn't even hit the... T we didn't even hit the side we were aiming for. Why do you... <laughs> you wonder why I don't do precision shots? That's the reason. Like, what's the point? What's the point? Receiving you. Like, I know what the point is, but, like, it never happens. So, like, what? why bother? I guess more is what I should be saying. is like, why bother? Oh boy, I can actually get up and over this hill. But I don't think I can get down... Oh, maybe I can get down that side. It's pretty slow going this way, though. But... I know if I push myself over the hill, I probably won't get down the other side. Because that happens. Skipper. That was the Centurion dying, I think. Affirmative, Commander. I just heard the engine Receiving you. wind down, so it's probably the Centurion. On the move, full speed. Yeah, he's down. Confirmed. No way to get to that Sturm Blitz guy over there, so. Oh, that's not bad. Quick stepping. Now you're in your element. That back strike. That's what I'm talking about. Right there. Ten four. Oh, he's got battle armor on him. He's carrying battle armor. Standing by. On it. Well, he won't be carrying it for long. He's coming back to see what's going on with the Centurion. Hey, I thought you said you were going to catch up to us. Oh. Reparten minimal damage. Ready for orders. The Yachim Phoenix is taking care of him pretty good. Hey, buddy. Ooh, I better switch this back. Don't want misfires. Firing on rear arc. Ooh, that's not bad. Yeah, you know, the HA-40, I was, like, up in the air whether or not I wanted to, like, use that. Because, like, it is... It is scattershot, right? So... Usually at higher levels, you really want that heavy pinpoint damage that you're going to be, like, constantly pounding the enemy with. On my way. Double time. But that's actually... 
it's actually pretty heavy damage. Like, if we can get some good side shots with that. I wanted to mount the regular Goss and the lasers in front of it because I want to use those to punch through the armor so that hopefully the HA-40 with its clustering rounds can actually do some crits, but don't know if it'll happen. What are your orders, Skipper? That was my thought behind it, but I don't know. Yeah, you gotta move because I can't let you... Now, you don't have... Yeah, we don't have fire and maneuvers, so I can't do that. We can come back over here, though. Double time. Let's go. Come back over here. It's a comeback. Ooh, that's Strider. That's fine. They all got to go down, so... Yeah, I kind of wish they had, like, a damage tally. It'd be interesting to see which of the... Where are you going? Which of the mechs were doing damage? And which were... Getting the kills. Because a lot of time, like... There's been several times in my playthroughs where pilots have done a lot of damage to the enemy. But just have, just couldn't get the kills because they were always going first. That's a kill. And then other people were getting the kills afterwards. So, I mean... I'm gonna see if I can get you up the hill. You're not gonna get around that corner and get a shots on anybody. So it'd be nice to know, like, damage-wise, how many how much damage they output at the end of the series. I mean, I guess it's really not that fair either, because lighter mechs are like lighter mech pilots are obviously gonna do no damage at all. Commander. All right. Copy that. Time to get in some urban fighting, I think. All right, let's move. Or we can actually be on roads the whole time and actually getting some half decent movement. At least we're not in jungle. That could be bad. That's brave. Too bad you can't follow that up with anything that's a, of a, any value. Ah, uh, sure. Aye. Not sure how much ammo we have left for the SRMs. Doesn't carry a lot, you know? That's the assassin. Let's just go after Joaquin Phoenix here. Yeah, it doesn't have a lot of armor. We're in 5 CT though. Yeah, we got another 5 turns of firing. Acknowledged. This battle will be over in 5 turns probably. Yeah, good. Lose evasion and then jump. That's smart. Standing by. Ooh, that's move. the assassin. No, that's not. Never mind. Yeah, it is four per. We got four turns of firing left on this guy. Target acquired. Ooh, brutal. What are your orders, Skipper? I mean, against heavy mechs, it's not, but against a light mech, that's pretty good. Now, where does that the assassin move? I think he's hidden. Where was I parked before? It's like right here, wasn't it? Or was it further? Ah, he's over here. That's right, he moved already. Okay. Little bit of damage. Full speed sounds good. Mm -hmm. Hope I can get up there. That was a death from above attack, really. Sure. At least his machine gun's unjammed.
He's using my speed against me because I just can't quickly zip behind him and shoot him. Because I gotta go a certain distance, right? That uh, Strider's pissing me off. Is he pissing you off too? I think so. I'm saving these guys for the assassin. So let's just hammer this guy. Hopefully we can land that AC-20 shot. Taking shot. Nope. Good scatter from the rockets, though. Reporting critical hit. Excellent. Yes, Commander. Yeah, see, we gotta move a fair distance here before we can... Oh, that's not too bad. Let's get up at the top of the hill. I don't think he can death from above us up here. We're a little far away for that. Wait, what happened? Jet booster destroyed. How is it destroyed? Maybe because I was... I don't know. I have no idea what the hell happened there. Fire in. Critical hit, Commander. Hopefully we get initiative on him next turn. We'll fin I'll just stay there and we'll finish him off. Ooh, plasma cannon. Yes, Commander. Yeah, I think we can get up here. No, we can't. It's a dead end. It looked like it could go I could go right up there. Ah oh, well. Confirmed. Much as I want to shoot at that Phoenix Hawk. I think I want to shoot at this guy more. We're in my element again. Back strikes. Here it comes. Hopefully we can land something. Stand still, dummy. Nice. Battle armor damaged. Waiting for orders. Let's remove this strider Order first. Received. Ooh. Yeah, no, we'll go after, <laughs> I'll go after this draw here first. I don't know, man. Ready to rock. We got garbage chances to hit, so I'm blaming it on that, but that didn't seem like we had a whole lot to... There we go, right there. Don't shoot my own guy in the back, whatever you do. It's awfully close to be firing this. Engage the target. I don't think we hit our guy. No, we're good. Theory, theoretically, we're good. Ah, Phoenix Hawk went first. All right, we'll see where he goes. We'll follow him. Yeah, I don't know what happened with the uh, Freet. We're almost out of ammo with that anyway, so... Alright. I still want to kill that guy with the, the uh, AC-20 hit, so... Yeah, what happened there? I wonder if it has something integrated into it that's that's just I don't know. Oh nice. You just keep moving forward. Receiving you. Do this. Because if he's got battle armor on him. Don't feel like fighting that. So let's go with this. Oh yeah. He took it though, like a champ. Good critical hit. Took it like a champ. Yeah, can you uh get into the fight it's somehow? Standing by.
got two turns of firing left. So we'll just plop down here. You know what it was? Maybe I was sprinting with a wound. That could have been it. Firing on rear arc. See ya. Well, not quite. Reporting critical hit. No, no, no large pulse there laser left, though. Uh, can I get... The back? That's a strike against the... Sure. Let's take... Yeah, we'll take the strike against the, uh... Strider. We can get him from stopping and firing those friggin' narcs and stuff. That would be nice. Looks like you're out of position. Ah, he bailed. Beautiful. I was gonna say he had health 1 of 3, so... Orders. He might just, uh, decide to... ...cash it in for today. Coordinates received. Alright, let's give it to him. Mm, cluster it. Or not. Oh, boy. Sure. Knowledge. It's the end of the fight. We might as well. Battle armor just damaged? Okay. Skipper. Thought it said destroyed. Did not. Flames in the way. We're standing in water. We're fine. You can take the PPC. See if we can get the barrage on him. Let's see what you got. Ooh. Don't know if that was a battle armor hit or not. Now it's his hit. Yeah, he's toast. Could have been. Could have been a head hit. Come on, give me something. Nothing. You're just outgunned, buddy. Sorry to say. Should move and drop that battle armor and then fire, but whatever. You do you. Ooh! Cheeky monkey! Uh, don't be there when the battle armor gets off him. Gotta be a little further than that, I guess. What about... No. Oh, that's pretty good. I got you. I think he can probably still jump over to us, or at least get close to us from there, but... Makes it more difficult for him. Get a shot at him. Affirmative. Streak's doing some good damage. Something good. Ready for orders. Hey, uh, Mr. Assassin, I was saving something for you. Now that you're now that you're nice and opened up. Yes. Yes. <laughs> The rockets were just the insult. <laughs> one left target. It lagged and it I'm paused. I mean, you guys saw it. It paused there for like one second. I'm like, yep, there's the kill. There it is. Standing by. Juicy. Not much you guys can do back here. Confirmed. I got you. You might as well by. just stay over there, buddy. Affirmative. I got a feeling this will be the end of this guy. Can we get... We can, because we barely moved last time. Nope. There we go. So that stays in close range. Just move. That should be enough. Good angle. Yes! Well, there it is, folks. Target down. Mission successful. Yeah, if we had dropped between the Banshee and those those other guys, that would have been a different fight. But having the high ground really helped. Now, the Perseus, that, yeah, I think we got, I think the, um, yeah, Silver Bullet got, took misfire damage. I don't know, I'm not, not sure how I feel about that loadout. I mean, it's good for stripping armor, but I don't know if, it, if it'll do much else. So there's the Banshee part. Now, 
Storage wise, we click on Banshee. No. We don't have, we have Annihilator. Is that what I was thinking? Probably. Well, we're taking the Banshee part anyway. I can't not take that. Now, we don't have any Omni Centurion parts. Nine hard points, though. It's pretty nice. Magna 250 XL. So it is a 5-8 movement. Hmm. Inner Sphere tag that didn't do anything. Carrier Mark II. You have Phoenix Hawk parts. Sternblitz, Strider, regular AC-20. Meh. ER mediums were fine. Heavy PPC. I mean, we could take it as a backup. Medium improved heavy lasers. Two of them. Where was this? So that was four mortar sixes on that vehicle. That could have been a bad time. Ooh, this is nice. The handheld plasma rifle? How much does it weigh? Eight ton handheld. So it's basically, we, you know, a medium with um, triple strength Myanmar or a heavy mech. You need two hands. How many shots does it have? Ten shots? Oh, there's all this. Look at this shit. Where was all of this? Was this all in the Banshee? Could very well have been. Interface. Cannot be piloted by, by pilots without neural neural implants. Beautiful. See, that's the kind of thing that they should have done with a, like, a lot of this stuff. If you don't have neural implants in your pilot, you shouldn't be able to use it. That's nice, though. I don't think I have neural implants on any of my pilots. Advanced targeting computers. Minus 20% jam chance multiplier. Those are beautiful. I've got one already. So Nova Fire Control System. Minus 15% laser heat generation, scatter, pharaoh, double heat sinks, double heat sink. I think we're okay for these now. Got one, we've got five, so that's okay. Range sensors, these are kind of nice too for increased range. Okay, AP. More chance to do critical hits. 15 damage dealt directly to internals. I wonder if this I wonder if this will work on the uh, the pirate goss. I'm gonna just do this for now. Cause I am looking for interesting stuff, right? I'm not looking for just the best thing. I mean I, I mean you do want the best thing obviously, but like look at all this shit. Hopefully we get a couple of these in the roll. Now there was no goss up here, right? No, we didn't get the goss. So do I take these? I've got one already. I mean, we could do a heavy laser, like lighter mech heavy laser build. Make it real fast, put some heavy lasers, some targeting in it, some good heat sinking. The heavy PPCs are on the avatar. We don't have anything to replace them if we lose them, though. Oh, it's a tough call. The plasma rifle is nice, too, but I don't have a lot of mechs with two hands, though. That's the other thing. The heavier you get, the less mechs have two hands. It's usually the mediums that are pretty, like, the upper level lights, or the, like the lower level lights and the mediums, generally, um, not generally, but you have a better chance of having mechs with two hands. Because I, I still think we've got a shotgun that we haven't uh, implemented on anybody. Evasion ignore is always good. At higher levels, I would I would go less with evasion ignore and go more with just general accuracy. Because a lot of the heavier mechs sometimes don't move fast enough to get enough or any evasion at all. So it's not as valuable as like giving you a plus one to, or plus two long range accuracy, for instance. Or even plus one energy accuracy is better. Ooh, that's nice too, though. Maybe we just take that. Mm. 
All right, let's go this route. Should have got off the pot. Okay, we got the assassin part. That's nice. The centurion part. Maxim, Plainsman, Sternblitz. That's a 75 tonner. Pretty good armor. LRM 15, MML 7. Got the plasma rifle tactics. Okay. Cockpit can go. How much pharaoh do we have? Two? Let's keep it then. Tractable blade. I think I've got one. But I think I've used this on other... Well, let's just keep it. It's not going to break the bank. LRM 15, though. Do we want to just get rid of that? We got two? Yeah. Okay, it's not bad. Yeah, 61,000. It's a little higher than expected, but... I mean, a lot of our mechs have, like, special armor and stuff, too, which is an issue. So I think it's just the... Um, the silver bullet gosh that needs repairing after the repairs happen. Hopefully I can remember to do that. Yeah, because all these guys took damage. But we're going to be repairing everything on the jump anyway, so... All right, I'm going to end this episode here. When we come back next time, we're going to be using Jenkins, jumping in. I got an idea what we're going to do. It's going to be, hopefully, it'll be a good fight, um, a little better than this one. I think this Lance really needs to go to five skull now, at least four and a half, five. Um, but we'll test it again, I think, around four against against Lyran Commonwealth again, just to see what we get, um, just to see where we're at here, and then we'll decide what we're going to do. But I'm going to end the episode here. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe and go check out that Quick Sell site. And until next time, we'll see you later.